Keyword match types are incredibly important when it comes to running campaigns on Google Ads. So today we are going to look at the keyword match types, why they have changed so much over the years because they are very different to what they used to be. We're going to revisit that, but more importantly, I'm going to break down exactly which keyword match type you should be using for your campaigns and how to come to that decision. So jumping straight in, what are keyword match types? Well, keyword match types are operators you put around a keyword in order to change how your keyword matches to a user's search term. There are three keyword match types in total and they are broad match, phrase match and exact match. So how do these different keyword match types change how your keywords interact with a user's search term? Well, let's start off with broad match. Broad match means you create your keywords in your account with no special characters around the keyword terms themselves. You just enter the keyword as they are. This essentially makes the keyword broad match and the way broad match works is to basically match to anything subject matter related to the keyword itself. Yes, you heard that right. That means broad match will match to basically anything related to your keyword. So if somebody is bidding on a keyword of car service garage and they have that as a broad match keyword, then that keyword could match to all kinds of things. It could match to tire repair. It could match to things around brands or services like Mercedes or Audi or BMW searches. It could match to car parts. So all of those different things outside of the pure term car service garage, that will be the way the keyword would match. It would match to things outside of that remit. Whether that in itself is a good or bad thing, we'll get onto. Up next, we have phrase match. Now, phrase match keywords require you to put double quotes around the keyword. And when you do this, that makes the keyword become a phrase match keyword. So how do phrase match keywords work? Well, it's quite simple. Essentially, phrase match keywords will match to the meaning of a user search term which means that the keyword you have will always match to the meaning or the sentiment of what the person is searching. So going back to what I said, broad match could match to basically anything to do with the subject matter your keyword includes. Take a step back from that. Using phrase match, it will match to the correct subject matter of what the person is searching for. So going back to that example of car service garage, if you have that as a phrase match keyword, you could match that to car repair garage, car repairs garage, things like that. It might not even necessarily have to contain the word garage, but you can rest assured that generally speaking, the subject matter of the user's search term will match your keyword, even though it won't necessarily be the exact phrase contained within the phrase match keyword. Phrase match used to work by ensuring that your ads will only show when the user's search term exactly matched the phrase in terms of the order of words in your keyword exactly. So that was why phrase match was called phrase match because the phrase of your keyword had to be in the user's search term, but that is no longer the case. Phrase match will match to the meaning of a search term that matches the keyword. As I say, Generally speaking, it's pretty good. Then finally, we have exact match. Now this match type is where you put square brackets around your keyword, and that essentially means that the person searching's search term would match to your keyword as long as the meaning is exactly the same as the keyword. So before, when we, when we talked about phrase match, we know that the general subject matter had to match what the person was searching exactly in line with that, Exact match is a bit different, meaning that the person's search has to essentially match exactly with your keyword. That doesn't mean word for word. It doesn't mean if somebody types in car service garage into Google exactly, and you have that same keyword as your keyword in your account, that that will trigger your ads every time. It also means that people typing in things like car servicing garage would match to an exact match term because that is the exact sentiment of that keyword. So it will still give you a very, very accurate quality of traffic, but those close variants will allow your ads to show for searches that exactly match the sentiment of the user's search, but it won't give you traffic outside of that. So it is still the tightest match type available. So why does Google allow all of these match types to work outside of the remit of what they're supposed to do? When you go to phrase, it goes beyond just the phrase in your keyword. When you go to exact, you can actually show your ads for things beyond the exact keyword. Well, the answer is quite simple. You might think, it's because of money and Google want to make more money. Now you wouldn't be wrong there, but it's actually more simple than that. It's because Google's algorithms are moving away from the keyword and moving towards the persona or the person who's performing the search, using those auction time signals to understand exactly how the person has behaved online to judge their sentiment in market or not. So if somebody is looking for a brand new BMW to buy online, they go onto the BMW website and they have a look around and they go to 
another website and maybe they go to Auto Trader, which is one of the bigger kind of used car marketplaces and new car marketplaces here in the UK. They go to all these different websites and then they go to Google and type the word new car into their search term. Now, if you're bidding on the word BMW cars or new BMW as a BMW marketing executive and you go into your search terms report and you see you're showing for the term new car, you might be very confused why you would show for that term. Well, the reason is because that person has shown a previous history and intent around new BMWs specifically. So in that scenario, Google will use that persona data to serve the ad in front of that person. This is particularly prevalent when using Broadmatch because this is what Google does with Broadmatch. They've given it that superpower to be able to see all of those historical signals and then deliver the ads to the person as opposed to just the keyword. I have seen Broadmatch match accounts where the search term is incredibly generic but has generated sales because of that persona perspective that Google is using. So that to me is a valid reason why you would show for terms outside of just what your keyword is targeting. But the other good thing is that phrase match and exact match being more open means campaign management becomes a bit easier because you don't have to go fishing for new keyword ideas because those close variants will show up in your search terms reports and you could potentially bid on those as well. And you might even generate sales from keywords you hadn't even put into your account because of those close variants. I guarantee you, if you're using phrase or exact and you go into your search terms report right now, you will see close variant keywords are generating sales. The exact keyword you're using will also, of course, generate sales, but you will also get sales from those close variants, meaning that it's a good thing that's happening because they were sales you would not have got had you have stuck with your exact keywords because you would have missed those searches completely. Before we go on to which match type you should pick for your business, this is one thing to note. Google will always favor the most open match type. So your temptation might be to run a campaign and put all three match types into a campaign, broad, phrase, and exact. But what happens when you do this? Well, Google will generally put most of your budget behind the broad match keywords because of course they can match to more searches. Therefore, there's more opportunity to spend budget and it means that Google will put more money behind them for that reason. But it goes beyond that. When you go into your search terms report and you're using multiple match types in your campaigns, you will notice that even if somebody types in the exact keyword that you put into your campaign as an exact match keyword, generally speaking, your exact match keyword won't have got that click. It will be the broad match version or the phrase match version. Google will always do this. I'm not sure why they do that. And the value of exact match becomes a bit more diminished because of it. But if you have multiple match types in your account, generally speaking, most of your sales and traffic are going to go to the most open match types. And finally, which keyword match type should you be picking when you set up a brand new campaign? Well, that depends on a number of factors. And that includes the niche or the industry that you're in, the CPCs, and also your budget. If you're in a very high volume niche, for example, if you're in the credit card niche and you're, you're selling credits or credit cards to the general consumer public, basically any adult could be your customer. That's a very massive audience. So you also need a budget to reflect that. But ultimately, this kind of campaign could be a candidate for broad match because of the sheer size and scale of opportunity and the sheer number of conversions that could go through that account. I have seen campaigns in this kind of situation where every household or individual in an entire country could be a customer and that works and it works really well. So that's something to consider in that scenario. But if your budget is much smaller, then how do you decide? Generally speaking, every single new campaign I set up will be on phrase match. So why am I picking phrase match as my match type of choice? Well, it's because it gives you the best of both worlds. First of all, broad match is way too open. With a new campaign, with no conversion data behind it, you could match to a ton of searches that are completely outside of the area of what you're promoting, meaning very intense campaign management from a negative keyword addition perspective. So I'm not gonna go live with broad straight away. Definitely not, and I would not advocate you do this unless you were in one of the massive industries with a massive budget I just spoke about. Then going the other way, let's look at exact match. Yes, the quality of traffic will be much more guaranteed, but the problem with this is always going to be volume. For a campaign to be successful, you need traffic going through it at a good level. And as I say, it's not just about the search term, it's also about the person searching. and 
by using exact match you're probably going to be blocking a lot of very good searches that people are looking for your products and services because they don't exactly match the sentiment of your keywords so that to me is restrictive and with smart bidding on top of that google can help figure out which traffic to go for and which traffic not to go for based on the likelihood of conversion so to me exact match can be a bit reductive so here we are sat in the middle with phrase match which is the best of both worlds it allows you to simultaneously get a good amount of volume through the campaign so you can see the search terms coming in might be outside slightly of the remit of what you're promoting but you'll be surprised many of those terms will convert and you can continue using a negative keyword strategy and it won't nearly be as intensive as a negative strategy for broad match then going the other way with exact match yes the traffic is more open than exact match but you are going to get the right type of traffic the sentiment will generally always be correct so it's a great place to start a campaign to gather your data to give google's algorithms and bidding a chance to find customers for you that's why for me it is the perfect match type to use and i'm not too bothered about how it's changed over the years for where the exact phrase had to be in the search term because actually it makes campaign management easier i can go fishing for search terms using phrase match to find customers for me i don't have to think oh my god i need to add this keyword then this one then this one then this. i don't have to think about that at all I just need to use phrase match, let that match type go fishing for me, and I can see in my search terms report the terms I'm generating that could be valuable to the business. Yes, you can simultaneously add phrase and exact into a campaign, and in fact, I've done this on numerous occasions, and it's something you can do to set a campaign up. But generally speaking, the vast majority of your budget will be going to those phrase match keywords, being the more open match type between phrase and exact. So that's really important to remember as well. But what do you think? Which keyword match types do you use when setting up a campaign i know people who only stick with exact and they go with manual cpc and they do it the old school way but let me know in the comments i reply to pretty much every single comment i get on all of my videos like this video if you like it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out the other videos across my channel and head over to darren-taylor.com for support with your ppc strategy